Ladies and gentlemen, please help welcome our host, world traveling stand up comedian and actress, Melissa Shoshahi. Welcome to the 12th annual Farhang Foundation Short Film Festival. We are so excited to be back this year after regretfully having to cancel the 2020 festival due to there being no valet parking. So we just canceled the whole event. Okay, fine, the pandemic canceled the whole event, which canceled the valet drivers. We have missed seeing our wonderful audience in person this year at our home at UCLA's Schoenberg Hall. But we are here tonight doing our very first virtual short film festival award ceremony. And a virtual presentation has lots of pros and cons. Pro, we are excited to welcome hundreds of more viewers tonight from all over the world. Another pro, viewers don't have to dress up, okay? Many of you are probably watching this event comfortably at home with no pants on. Cons, you're watching me at home with no pants on. Speaking of clothes, am I right? <laughs> I mean, look at this gorgeous gown made by the talented Gila Atelier. You know, I feel like Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman, okay? And crazy fun movie fact, we are in the royal suite here at the historic Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills where Pretty Woman was shot, literally. I mean, I was gonna either wear a gown for this occasion or, you know, the other outfit Julia Roberts was wearing, but I didn't have any thigh high boots. But this, I had to wear this. I mean, I'm Persian, we're royalty. You know, my fake lashes are royalty. My Chanel number no. five is royalty, okay? And my family once got a glance of the royal family in Iran. So we too are related to the royal family. I'm so excited for tonight's events. The Farhang Film Festival is the only film festival in the world dedicated to Iranian short films. And it's also the only film festival I have hosted four times without a husband. But I think 1400 is my year. <sighs> I think, I hope. It is my pleasure to now introduce Farhang Foundation's Vice Chair and the Jury Chair of the Festival, CEO of Sobini Films, and former Vice Chairman of Lionsgate Entertainment. He is a veteran of the motion picture industry with over 50 films to his credit. Please help me welcome Mr. Mark Amin. This was a very interesting year for the festival. Last year, as you may know, uh, the actual festival, which we have held for 11 years, uh, actual ceremony in person got canceled because of COVID. And then it's so interesting because it looks like the crop of submissions this year kind of showed the zeitgeist. It's very interesting, even though they were very different kind of movies, different moods, different stories, but they all had a bit of a somber feel to them, as though somehow COVID and the environment had affected the mood of the filmmakers, which I suppose is normal and it does. Nevertheless, we got a really interesting crop of films. I think more than ever. Every year, as you may know, our submissions go up. And this year we had really interesting crop. And this is the first time I'd actually paid attention, noticed that, that every year, the, not only we have more creative and very interesting stories, but it seems like the craft of filmmaking is also improving among these submissions. It looks like people who are making these, they're actually paying more attention to the actual technicalities of making a movie, where to put the camera, how to move the camera, how to tell a story, how to create suspense. And some of this is not just pure creativity, it does really come from practice and learning and studying. So 
not only our films are getting more interesting creatively, but it looks like on the technical and craft side, they are also improving. So this was a really interesting experience to, uh, you know, watch these movies and uh, try to decide how to rate them, which is really difficult because there's so many great films there. And this year, again, we're going to have the festival virtually, but the good news is that a lot of people get to watch it. Although we miss the excitement of an in-person festival and we are all hoping for next year to have, it in per have an in-person festival as we've had for the past 11, 10 years. And uh, we are hoping that some of you can be there to join us. In the meantime, I really want to thank our jury who have taken a lot of time and effort to watch these films and rate them. Hamid Behdad. Uh, Ali Jabar Ansari, Mehdi Karampur, Aryan Mayed, and Nargis Rashidi. And also the crew at Farhang who have really judiciously uh, engineered the process, uh, taken care of making sure every film gets attention, gets rated. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the films. On this 12th year of the Farhang Short Film Festival, we once again broke our past submissions record with over 200 submitted films from over 15 countries. And we're always thrilled to receive many submissions from inside Iran, from such locations as Rasht, Yazd, Qazvin, Esfahan, Mashhad, and of course, Tehran. The power of this festival is the accessibility it provides to all filmmakers worldwide. And it is completely free for any filmmaker to participate. We are extremely proud that to date we have awarded over $200,000 in cash prizes to filmmakers from around the world. And you may watch all our past 11 years of winning films anytime on farhangfilmfest.org. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's top six official selected finalists. Tonight, we are delighted to welcome three of our amazing jury members from this year's competition to present our top prizes of the evening. Our first presenter of the night is a director, screenwriter, and producer. He started his professional career by making short films. He has been actively involved in Iranian cinema throughout his illustrious career as a member of the Board of Directors Guild of Iranian Cinema, president of the Releasing Committee of Iranian Cinema, and founding member of the Iranian Short Film Association. He has directed such acclaimed films as Who Killed Amir? Tehran Tehran, Wooden Bridge, and Sophie and the Beast, just to name a few. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Mehdi Karampur. Thank you, Melissa Jan. Didan har neshunei az Iran dar har gushe jahan hamishe man osar shog miyare va didan in hame film khub az film sazay javun. ما رو به فرهنگ و هنر سرزمین اون امیدوارتر میکنم فیلم سازی مسابقه فوتبال نیست و اینها همش بحانه ایه برای توجه به سینما به هنر و مطمئنم که حداقل شش فیلم خوب دیگه هم تو این فهرست بود که اگه داورای دیگه بودن شاید اونا رو انتخاب میکردم از بنیاد فرهنگ تشکر ویژه دارم بابت توجهشون به فرهنگ ایران و کلام رو از استاد خوبم بهران بیزایی قرض می گیرم که گفت این جهان را چاره جز فرهنگ نیست جایزه سوم جشنواره رو من باز می کنم همراه سه هزار دلار جایزه نقدی از طرف بنیاد فرهنگ اتا می شود به خیلی هم محکم بسته Red Dress No Straps by مریم مهاجر خانم 
مهاجر از لندن برای دریافت جایزهشون اینجا هستن تشریف بیارم برای گرفتن جایزهشون Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. This is brilliant. Uh, Red dress, no straps is is really close to my heart. Uh, it was made with no funding uh, here, and you know it has a sense of a lot of people in it that who are really dear to me. Um, It's very special to win this award because my film is is from Iran, really. Uh, the story is from Iran. Um, and for it to have communicated with people who, like me, have the roots in Iran, it's, it's really, really touching, really special. Thank you. I'm going to say it in Farsi, but Farsi, I'm going to say این خیلی مهمه برام که این جایزه رو بردم برای اینکه فیلم پیراهن قرمز بدون آستین ریشش تو ایرانه و اینکه این فیلم با کسانی که ری مثل من ریشهشون تو ایران ارتباط برقرار کرده اینقدر خب خیلی دل نشین خیلی واقعا مرسی واقعا ممنونم از همه دستان در کاران همه یه داورا ممنون نوازتون. مرسی. Congratulations to Maria Mohajer for Red Dress No Straps. Our next presenter of the evening was born in Iran and moved to Germany where she pursued her successful acting career. Her international breakthrough moment arrived when she was cast as the lead in the award-winning UK Iranian film Under the Shadow for director Bobak Anvori. The film garnered her a nomination for Best Actress at the British Independent Film Awards, and she won Breakthrough Actress at the New York International Film Festival. The film was also the UK's official Oscar submission for Best Foreign Film. She has recently been featured as one of the leads of The Girlfriend Experience for director Lodge Kerrigan and on the first season of the Amazon Studios series, Hannah. Currently, she can be seen in Gareth Evans' top-rated series, Gangs of London, on AMC and Netflix. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome my friend, the incomparable Nargis Rashidi. Thank you, Melissa John. Thank you so much. And thank you to the Fahrenheit Foundation for having me. And thank you for the hard work you guys put in. to support our culture and arts. It has been an absolute honor to be on this year's jury panel with so many great fellow filmmakers. And I gotta say, we watched 90 films and time flew by so quickly because there were so many creative, beautiful works that um, we had the opportunity to watch. And I'm very delighted to present today's second prize of $5,000 of this year's Fahang Foundation Short Film Festival, which, let me open the envelope, goes to, all right, the winner of the second prize of $5,000 goes to Light Side by Sayyid Tabatabai. And Sayyid will be joining us tonight um, from Canada. Congratulations. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. It's such a good news. You made our day. Um, so I'm Sayed. I'm the director of the film Light Side. Uh, this is Simi, the uh, producer and the distributor of the film. Uh, and uh, we are so thrilled and uh, excited. Um, and happy that the jury members in particular uh, liked the film. Thank you to the organizers of the festival and everybody who watched it and enjoyed it. Uh, we are so happy and uh, yeah, Simi, do you have anything to I just want to thank everyone and thank you for liking this film and 
Thanks to all the festival organizers for coordinating everything during this virtual pandemic time. And we hope to see you in person one day. Thank you. Congratulations to Seya Tabo Taboi for Light Sight. Our final presenter of the evening is an award-winning actor, writer, and director. He is a partner at Waterwell Films, where he has written and directed the Emmy-nominated thriller Accidental Wolf, and he is currently writing his latest project, 28 More Dot. His notable acting credits include Broadway's The Humans, the Tony-nominated Bengal Tiger at the Baghdad Zoo, Guards at the Taj, and HBO's Emmy-winning hit series, Succession. Coming up next, you can be seen in Shonda Rhimes' new Netflix series, Inventing Anna, opposite Julia Gardner and Anna Klumsky, as well as in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. In addition to his amazing career on screen, Arian is also the co-founder of Waterwell, a civic-minded, socially conscious, non-profit art and education organization, which amongst its many projects offers over 250 students world-class arts training at the Professional Performing Arts School, all free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Arian Moayet. Wow, it's that point of the evening. Thank you, Melissa. I am so honored to be presenting the first prize with my envelope here from the Fahang Foundation. Um, but before I do, I just wanna say there's so much division in this world right now. And um, it's something that Iranians have known for a very long time. Many of us have been separated from family members and Amus and Khales and, and it's been really tough for us. But I have to say, watching these films and knowing how amazing as human beings and artists we are to make such glorious films, it's really an honor to be here today. Um, let's stop talking and let's get to the first prize. All right, here it is. Drum roll, please. Here we are. And the first prize is Exam by Sonia Haddad. Look at that. First prize, and it comes with a $10,000 gift. This movie is stunning and beautiful. And uh, Sonia John, you are the best. Congratulations. I think Sonia's here right now. And so I'm just gonna hand it off and she's gonna say hello from Tehran. Sonia John. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this is such a nice surprise. You made my day. And um, it is really an important and momentous occasion. So I would like to thank uh, Farhang Foundation for supporting us um, as filmmakers and also I would like to thank the jury members for choosing my film. Between all these great shorts I watched and loved all of them. Uh, thanks again. Uh, also I want to thank my team uh, and um, my cast and crew for uh, helping me to make this movie. Um, I'm truly honored to receive this award. Thanks again, and I wish you have a great night. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations to Exam and Sonia Haddad for winning the top prize this evening. I will be sending you your award uh, as soon as I take all the selfies with it, okay? And I would also love to congratulate all the winning films and nominees this year. It was such an honor to be your host for this magical evening celebrating Iranian filmmaking and cinema. I'd also like to thank all the presenters tonight, the entire jury panel who worked so hard on this year's festival competition, 
Farhang Foundation for throwing yet another spectacular festival this year, the makeup artist who contoured my nose, and last but not least, thanks to you, our incredible audience who have joined us from all over the world. I look forward to seeing you all next year in person with your gorgeous Hermes on, your gold, and your judgment. In the meantime, I'll be staying in this suite until they kick me out. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening and please stay safe and beautiful. Salomati. Hmm. Where's Richard Gere? Richard! He's probably hiding in a bathroom. You know? He's not here. <laughs> <laughs>